Hey, this is Artifacts of Mars. And we're going to have a little fun today. We're going to talk about Cain, Abel, and Seth. I'm going to give you a little overview. Cain came first, son Abel. Cain was a farmer, Abel was a rancher, and when they went to make their sacrifices to God, uh, God didn't want the uh, vegetable sacrifice. That's uh, there is such a thing today as uh, cattle mutilation and things of that nature, and I'm tempted to think that something like that was going on at that time anyway to God. But anyway, God tells them when you till the ground it shall not henceforth yield under thee her strength, fugitive and vagabond shall thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out on this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and vagabond on the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that finds me will want to kill me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, Whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold, and the Lord will mark on Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and Bear Enoch, and he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. And we got some serious problems here because, you know, what was he afraid of? The critters wouldn't know what a mark is. They wouldn't care about that. Uh, and where did they get this concept of a city from? <laughs> I mean, no one... These were supposed to be the first people on Earth. And the female reproductive cycle probably wasn't any different. We don't know, but if you jump ahead and look at Abraham and Sarah, they had a kid when Sarah was 90, and his name was Isaac. Isaac means laughter. They laughed at God saying that she could conceive. Probably not much difference. I'm not going to get into all the begats, but uh, who did uh, Cain build a city for? Just his family? There had to have been a bunch of people on the earth, people. But given that, like I said, the female reproductive cycle probably wasn't any different back then. That means there couldn't have been all these people on the earth if Adam and Eve were the only the same people. Were the only people, and then they had these kids that got together and fornicated with each other. Where did his wife come from? Did she come from Eve? You see what I mean? Preacher Man doesn't talk about this. I don't have a lot of time for uh, videos nowadays, so I'm going to leave it, give it to you like this. King murders Abel and gets booted from Eden, which I believe was some kind of, the Garden of Eden, which I believe was some kind of a habitat. And he goes out in this world that's already populated. And people know who he's are, he, who he is. You can't have it both ways. You can't tell me, well, Adam and Eve were the first people on Earth, and then you turn around and tell me, well, there's people out there who want to kill him. And somehow he managed to find a wife. He, oh, yeah. We got serious problems here, folks. Don't take this stuff literally. Read it for yourself. 
and think over that. Think it over. What does it mean? They're saying that there is another civilization out there. Adam and Eve were apparently some kind of an experiment gone bad. The talking reptile talked them into eating something they shouldn't have eaten, and they become self-aware or something. And that's what it says. Read it for what it actually says, people. Don't rely on some fire-breathing preacher who doesn't know what he's talking about and is only interested in what's in your collection plate. Sheesh. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.